Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn very very important feature that's almost like used in every application that at least I have built and I've seen mostly any large application. It's query params, right? So query params are a way to send communication or data from UI to backend, right? Also known as the get method, right? So you, your, your params are visible in your URL, um, mostly for search, mostly for querying, mostly for filtering data, etc. These are the common use cases where you would see yourself implementing and using query params. It's one of those that you don't want to miss it and definitely learn and master it. After this episode, you will be able to master it. Let's get started. This is part 15 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series with the live project as well. So make sure I will be updating all the details in the description box below. Uh, make sure that you get access to the notes, code and the playlist link. Following other topics that I've already covered in detail uh, previously uh, in the playlist. So make sure that you go through it if you really want to learn and master Angular. Uh, don't forget to ask me any questions or doubts that you may have um, along in the process of your learning. I'm here to help you and learn and become expert. Just drop them in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. So today we are in the 45th episode. Today we are learning about query params, right? So query params, let's get started. So what are query params? Um, so we can easily configure and send query params uh, in our routes, right? And basically, if you look at the URL, it would look something like this, right? You would have question mark followed by key equal to value and some again key equal to some value and so on. Noticely, whenever in any application, if you have seen a feature called search or filter, this is something that's the most common use case you would have seen, right? Let's get into uh, our application and see that in action. So this is episode number 45, query params, right? So query params, how does the look? Um, we can send data from form, right? Or we can have data from click event, Right. Basically, um, just think that your URL would look something like this. HTTP localhost. I mean, not this URL. Basically, you will have your own um, whatever URL of your application. You will have some route and it should be able to take parameters like this. So if you say key equal to 10 and state equal to Karnataka and city equal to Bangalore. So see, these are params, right? So these are key value, right? So you're passing, these are called query params because they are visible that right? these are called query params visible in the URL, right? Mostly used for querying, searching or filtering data, etc. Right. So if you go to flipkart.com or if you go to Google um, and there, uh, if you start uh, adding more options like size, color, etc. And see the URL, you would see something like this. Right. Um, so, yeah. So those are some of the common examples or use cases that you can uh, find. Similarly, uh, go to Twitter or Facebook and you would still see something like this if you do a search uh, like page count. Right. Um, so you would see something like facebook.com slash search. Uh, question mark you can say page equal to 10 and page size equal to 20 per page right etc etc so pagination so these are some of the common examples that you see in query params so that was all about some of the explanation and use cases that you have seen let's learn how to implement it now in our application right so I'm not I'm going to keep it very simple uh, what I'm going to do is in the routing right Let's throw in a new route and I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to say search, right? So let's create a new component, search. 
beautiful so we have now our component which is search now it will the path is slash search so what happens is uh, let me give you an example so when you have something like this and you ask user to search right say user enters some data let's say Mike or say QA or something and click on hit it will go to search form right it will go to search form and it will come to this URL which should have the capability to capture that right so how do we do that for that we need the activated route so let's import that so in the search component import the router right and here activated route okay so you have got the activated route now let's class now let's create an instance private okay and in this constructor what I'm going to do is this dot activated route dot query params dot subscribe see now I'm getting the params so here I can just do console dot log and say for now right all right so now I have the um, the query params all set now let's launch the application and send some data and see how it looks right okay so let's go back to our application and I'm going to say slash search question mark and I'm going to say simple start with simple I'm going to say ID uh, ID equal to 10 but it still says lead leads grid uh, works that's because we need to pass the default one that we said uh, search question mark let's see the output okay so it's not loading because the component is not mapped let's see why uh, okay here it's still leads grid that's why search component so now we have search and search component all right so now it says search works let's see inspect element console and there you are so you see an object which says ID 10 right because that's what we are passing here now let's pass some more values to it right and I'm going to say st uh, let's say we are going to search ID equal to 10 and I'm saying color equal to red so now you see color equal to red right and say at the rate size equal to large right so see how this is now you can start relating to what happens when you try to narrow down the search results in your e-commerce applications right you provide color you provide size and you say price right uh, you'll say price from equal to say 2000 rupees to and price from and to equal to say 5000 rupees right so see now you have price from 2000 price uh, to 5000 right so these are called query params and see how they'll be displayed right so that's how you capture it in the component and now it's very easy to processing right so now we can process it or uh, we can either for now I'll just display it in the UI for your sake and when we start building the live application uh, we will start connecting all of these pieces one by one so you would your learning would be actually converted into a practical hands-on experience all right so that being said let's go ahead and now capture this and display it in the template all right so let's go to search here and create a search right so you can put the parameters that you want here so I'm going to say color equal right color I'm just going to color is string price two is equal to zero let's initialize all of it right basically so if it's nothing just put a default color or leave it empty whatever so again this initialize this 
then size equal to by default median right so these are some values so take it extract them from uh, the params and display it in the UI so let's first throw them here right. right now here put size Now open any uh, e-commerce application, you would see these things common so you will be able to relate better and you see that it's not rocket science that um, that they build, uh, right? It's anybody just like you and me, uh, just like anybody can do that. a bit of formatting so okay all right so we have some default values so let's see so okay um, size uh, medium price to price from and then you have the color and uh, size okay so it here we are putting so let's just save it and restart okay let's let's capture the come to new and then we'll get the values so here I'm going to say and on the constructor this dot color is equal to this dot params dot color then similarly we will take the other values so basically just copying the values um, that are there and size so now it should be visible so you see here now it says red large 2000 5000 change the value here and you see it will be changed right so basically that's a uh, query params for you whatever um, we do here that's what is getting captured right so that is the beauty of um, how we can use um, with um, query params right so there is another one more way which is through router links right so this is this tutorial is getting extended so i'll cut it down and maybe i'll cover it in the next episode or so but for today uh, learning your learning is and your homework is to practice query params because that's what is a very very important aspect uh, especially when you're doing querying searching or filtering right so make sure that you understand the concepts well you use it and learn practically I'm here to help you. Drop me if you have any comments or doubts or any questions. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode where we will learn about uh, router wildcard routes. Right? And if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you so much. Join me in the next episode. We will learn about router wildcard routes. Thank you.